Your compulsive shopping on Amazon paid for Jeff Bezos' new mansion. Good job. Amazon has made Bezos incredibly rich, obviously, and he's now worth about $181.6 billion. He can buy pretty much whatever he wants, so it's no surprise that he bought an incredibly expensive Beverly Hills estate last year. Bezos paid $165 million for the palatial estate, but it's now worth at least $175 million. The Amazon Founders Compound is the ultimate billionaire hideaway. It features a 13,600-square-foot mansion, an immaculately manicured garden, and even a a nine-hole golf course. Bezos is even buying up the surrounding properties for added privacy. Here's a look inside Jeff Bezos' California compound. Jeff Bezos' palatial estate is located in the upscale Beverly Hills neighborhood of Benedict Canyon, and it has a long and storied history. It was built way back in 1930 for Warner Brothers co-founder Jack Warner. Warner was a shrewd businessman and innovator, so it's fitting that this impressive compound is now owned by another business genius. When Warner owned the estate, it was a happening hotspot where Hollywood heavyweights would party the night away. It was once described as a party palace, and Golden Age movie stars like Errol Flynn, Jimmy Stewart, Olivia de Havilland and Audrey Hepburn often attended Warner's lavish parties. Even business magnate Howard Hughes attended the Hollywood parties. This was long before he became a recluse. Stranger still is the fact that Warner even invited Albert Einstein to the mansion on occasion. Just imagine the lively conversation at those parties. It's highly unlikely that Bezos will be throwing any huge parties at the compound today. He's too busy running Amazon and competing against Elon Musk for the title of the richest person in the world. Bezos purchased the massive estate in February 2020 for $165 million, which is the most expensive California property sale ever recorded. The sale surpassed Lachlan Murdoch's purchase of a $150 million Chateau-style Bel Air mansion in 2019. Bezos has only owned the property for about a year, but it's already making him money. The property is now worth at least $175 million because the Beverly Hills real estate market is booming and getting stronger every day. Bezos sold about $10 billion worth of Amazon stock in 2020, and his Beverly Hills estate is one of the things he bought with all that cash. Many wealthy businessmen and moguls have owned the Warner estate over the years. Bezos purchased the property from music producer David Geffen, who happens to be good friends with Bezos. Geffen actually listed the property for $225 million, so Bezos got an incredibly good deal. It might be hard to believe that $165 million is a bargain, but in this case, it certainly is. Geffen purchased the property in the 1990s and made numerous renovations and additions during his time as owner. He reportedly spent over $45 million renovating the property, including $20 million on landscaping alone. Geffen probably misses the property, but he can visit any time. Bezos and his girlfriend Lauren Sanchez have been spotted relaxing on Geffen's $590 million yacht, The Rising Sun. Maybe Geffen could stay at the estate the next time Bezos takes The Rising Sun out for a sale. Just an idea. Let's take a tour of Bezos' epic residence. The highlight of the sprawling nine-acre compound is easily the 13,000-square-foot mansion. The mansion is incredibly eye-catching thanks to its Georgian-style design. The six huge pillars at the front of the home's exterior really make the mansion stand out. It sort of looks like a miniature version of the White House. The mansion has eight bedrooms and nine bathrooms. Bezos is never bored when he's at home because his mansion has a screening room, an expansive bar with an antique chandelier from the 1920s, a library, a sunroom, and a huge dining room that can easily seat up to 14 guests. If you're ever invited into Bezos' stunning mansion, the first thing you'll see is a spacious two-story entrance hall featuring intricately patterned flooring made from a variety of high-end woods. The cantilevered staircase leads to the upstairs bedrooms, and on the first floor, you'll find a living area with a cut glass chandelier and a large fireplace. The mansion even has flooring that was once owned by Napoleon. It doesn't get more historic than that. Bezos' elegant mansion sits on the end of a sycamore-lined driveway. A picturesque fountain lies right in front of the mansion's main entrance, and there's plenty of space for Bezos to park his Range Rover. Yes, it seems Bezos has finally upgraded to a much nicer mode of transportation. He was driving a 1996 Honda Accord until 2013, despite the fact that he was worth $10 billion at the time. What's with the Honda? <laughs> this is a perfectly good car. <laughs> Unfortunately, there isn't enough space in the driveway for Bezos' private jet. Bezos' compound is surrounded by tall hedges for added privacy, and the estate is covered in manicured gardens and terraces. The hedges are so tall, you might even have trouble finding the entrance to the estate. The compound's green entrance gate is nestled between two towering hedges on each side. 
you won't find a bare spot on the property. Every inch is covered with lush greenery. Fortunately, Bezos has an extremely talented team of gardeners and landscapers who work for him. He can afford it, right? Bezos' compound has a tree nursery, two ponds, and three greenhouses that are filled with expensive flowers and plants. When Bezos wants to relax, he takes a dip in his outdoor pool, which is located behind one of the guest houses. There's also a hot tub connected to the pool. The compound actually has two guest houses, and some historians believe that Marilyn Monroe even stayed in one of the guest houses back in the day. If Bezos wants to get some exercise, he can practice his serve on the tennis court or work on a short game on the nine-hole golf course. Bezos's yard is so big that he could easily add another nine holes to the course if he wanted. After a nice Sunday drive, Bezos can park in the compound's motor court, which includes a service garage and gas pumps. It's likely that this part of the compound won't get much use in the future, once Amazon's autonomous electric vehicles are on every street corner. Bezos has some big plans for his new property. He will undoubtedly make some big renovations in the next few years. The mansion is very old, and Bezos will no doubt want to add his own personal touch to the stately abode. In July, he purchased the adjacent property for a paltry $10 million. That's it? It's nowhere near the size of his mega mansion, but the neighboring property is nothing to scoff at. The smaller estate is on Tropical Avenue, which is perpendicular to the Warner Estate. And it's just as old. Like Bezos' main compound, the neighboring house was also built in the 1930s. It shares a hedge with the compound, though it's currently addressed from a different street. It features three bedrooms, five bathrooms, six fireplaces, a rear patio, a courtyard, a den, a rose garden, and a vegetable garden. Shortly before Bezos purchased the property, the house underwent a major cosmetic re fresh, overseen by the same design team who renovated a nearby home that was bought by Justin Bieber. This isn't the first time that Bezos has purchased a property right next to the one he already owns. In fact, he's made it somewhat of a habit. In 2014, Bezos paid $13 million for a rundown home next door to his former Beverly Hills compound. He no longer owns either one of those properties as his ex-wife got them in the divorce. In 2019, Bezos paid $5 million to buy a house across from his historic Washington, D.C. mansion. In the late 1990s, Bezos bought nearly every house around his Seattle estate, and a few years ago, he bought three apartments near Madison Square Park in Manhattan. He was originally going to buy just one penthouse in the condo complex, but then he bought two apartments directly beneath the penthouse as well. Don't be surprised if Bezos eventually buys the whole building. Who knows, once he becomes a trillionaire, he might just own all of Midtown. When Jeff Bezos started Amazon, he was renting a very modest 1,540-square-foot home in Bellevue, Washington with his ex-wife, Mackenzie Scott. Bezos spent thousands of hours in the garage working on his business plan for Amazon. At the time, the house was worth $135,000, but today it's worth about $1.49 million. It would take Bezos a mere 20 minutes to earn enough money to buy his old house today. That's it, folks. Thanks for watching.